Greetings gaming universe, my name is Retro Dave and welcome back to Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the previous episode we had just completed the first dungeon and spoken to Sasha Sasha Sasha, the, the sage who has given us Pegasus boots and told us on the map. So now if we look at my map when I go outside we should see where the other two dungeons are. There we go. So we've got the Master Sword in the top corner and the two other dungeons where I can get the blue pendant and the red pendant. Once I get all three pendants I can then go and release the Master Sword from its holdings. The Master Sword, we'll see later. The Master Sword needs to be pulled out of the stone just like any other Zelda. But right now I am going to use the Pegasus boots to quickly dash around the map gathering all sorts of things that I'm going to need for the next dungeons. Uh, so, let's get on with the show. Uh, as I said before, this is one of my favourite games of all time. Um, which is one of the reasons why I'm playing it so early, but the main reason is because it's my, fa my favourite game of all time, I really want to share it with you guys. I want people who've never experienced this game before to see what it's like. Ah! Bastard! Why am I going this way? So yeah, for the foreseeable future it will be 90s retro games rather than earlier, except for the odd one here and there. Um, I would love to be able to get some of the uh, some of the old classics like Space Invaders and you know the seven the 70s classics, the 80s classics, um, like Ikari Warriors for example, or uh, some of the other. 80s ones. I, I'd love to play the original Zelda. But for now, I'm going to have to settle with the 90s. So I just got the ice rod. And this is, this is what the ice rod does. It will freeze my opponents. So now they're frozen. Completely frozen. They can no longer harm me or hurt me anyway. I can lift them up and use them to smite other enemies. Wahaha, <laughs> come here. And then the best thing about it is it's reusable, so I can smite many enemies with it. Wahaha, <laughs> it does not die. So, there we go. And that's it. I, I now can't reach that, so. <laughs> that's as far as I can take that. So, yeah, that's why I love the ice rod. And I didn't need to get it, but I was going to get it anyway because it's just cool. Fairies! Excellent, I can fill my bottles. One. Two. Let's now go and get a few more pieces of heart. I can definitely get this one. Nee nee. Oh, there's bombs here. Bomb, precious bombs. Precious bombs. You know, I do know my shit when it comes to this game because I've played it so many times. So I know where what is in certain boxes and underneath certain pots and certain areas. Um, usually the ones that I rely on the most to get me more stuff. I might at some stage, once, once I get better at this YouTube malarkey, I might start live streaming. And once I start live streaming, I'm hopefully going to live stream my speed run of this game. This person gives me health, I think. Yes. Hello. Just relax. Oh god, the uh, Nintendo 64 version of you is so annoying. You know the one I'm talking about though. <laughs> Hello. You're another elder, but I'm not going to need to speak to you. Maybe I'll speak to you anyway for the sake of it. Another piece of heart! I am Aginha. Sure you are. I sense something is happening in the Golden Land. The Seven Wise Men sealed must be an omen of a great cataclysm foretold by the people of Hawaiian blood. Prophecy says the hero will stand in the desert holding 
The Book of Mordura. Oh yeah, that's right. If you have the Book of Mordura, you can read the language of the Halayan people. That's right, I need to go get the Book of Mordura. Let's go get the Book of Mordura. When I do speedrun, there's a, a whole list of things that I need to remember to get at different points. Um, and that book is one of the things that I always forget to get, you know, at the right point. Thankfully, I'm not speedrunning, so it doesn't matter. I think what I'll try and do on this is I'm going to try and 100% uh, it, just because I haven't done that in so long. La, la, la. Book! Hello! Just sitting on top of a library is an ancient book, you know, like, <laughs> an ancient and very important book that, you know, scholars have discussed for years. It's just somewhere, like, on the top of a bookshelf, you know, in the library that's sort of been overlooked for hundreds of years. The best thing about this charging thing is you can charge certain trees and you get things from them, like fairies and bottle, bottles of uh, potion and stuff. Let's use the book of something something to open the way to go forward. Make your wish here and it will be granted. No, no, no. Right, here we go. Oh, I opened the way forward. No, 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 no. Let's continue. So I know this pretty well. I know the first thing I've got to do is go. Oh, I need the arrows to kill these guys. Cha! The first thing I need to do is um, go in here and pick up this. He, I don't need to talk to Sasha Hasha Shasha because that all he does is give you hints to the um, to how to beat this place. And to be honest, I know how to do it anyway. So let's go. Now I go all the way over here. I ignore everything. Go over here. Yeah, th there's like compasses and things that you can get. Maps and compasses you can get that I'm just skipping. Damn it! Run! Come on, come on, ah! Anyone who knows about this game knows, man. You, they just know, man. Like, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> right, let's carry on. So that was a compass, and the other one, I there was a door back there randomly that gives you a map that I skipped out. Here, I think. I think. Uh, and I get the big box because I just got the big key and I get a power glove. Power glove! Uh, <laughs> I think the power glove was a. Um, it's a reference to the NES uh, power glove, which was a complete flop. It's this glove with like a joystick on it that's supposed to, you're supposed to sort of move your hands or whatever. And, uh, it, um, it's supposed to be like, uh, sort of a hand, a joy pad, pad that's wired into your hand and recognizes your hand movements. It was way ahead of its time. The idea was a great idea, but because it was so ahead of its time, it didn't, with two dimensional games, there's only so much you can do with that. Like, with these, 
more modern simulation games, I'm sure it would be really good with like the, you know, the Oculus Rift style um, VR, virtual reality stuff. I mean, that would be brilliant with that. Uh, game developers, you know, big hint. Because they've now got that one that you use the two, the two um, handheld devices as well to work out where your hands are. So why don't you just go the whole hog and have two power, Nintendo style power gloves? You know, just an idea. Here we are. Right. Uh, at this point, you just do that. <laughs> Stay here. Oh, actually, I think it's, is it that one? Yeah. Let's go. Ow. Some of them, you just have to stay in the doorway. Uh, and then they don't hurt you. But that one specifically, I remembered. You just need that key. I remembered where the key was. Let's go. Hooray, next room. Uh, that one, now it's in this far corner. And at this point, I have full health. I just need to kill you. I suck at this next boss, uh, I have to say. It's, it's not the most difficult boss in the world, but... I do suck at it. <laughs> like all of those. Okay. Boss time! Uh, I don't know why, but I've seen some speedrunners use their arrows on this boss, but I just, I literally can't imagine how it's possible. Right. Sometimes if you use your spinning technique, you can hit two of them at once just through the ricochet. Yeah, boy! Come on, bitch, let's go! Let's dance! Okay, so having said that I suck at this this boss, I'm actually doing really, really well. He says. <laughs> right. Get your head in the game, Dave. Come on. Big boss. Big boss time. Yeah! One down. Uh, so, apparently there's a way of shooting these guys. God only knows if that's actually possible. Hey! It is possible! Awesome! Da -da 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 -da. That's the second pendant! It's all blue and shiny. I like. It's nice. You won the pendant of power. Your goal of finding three pendants is in sight. Go for the last one. Yes. Okay, so that was the second dungeon. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, if you like this uh, series so far, then uh, leave a like. Uh, if you like what you're watching, Maybe you should hit subscribe, see some more of the stuff that me and Andrew do. But for now, thank you so much for watching, um, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!